Hello again. We'll be continuing our full flight series and today we're in the A320 simulator. We'll be doing everything from cold and dark to startup, takeoff, departure, arrival and landing uh, from Brussels International to Frankfurt International. And we'll be doing the communication with the ground and also with the ATC. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it and let's begin. Alright, so we start with the cold and dark aircraft, everything is off. Uh, we start by checking engine switches 1 and 2 off and mode uh, to normal. Then we move to the overhead. Check that the wipers are off, off, and then battery check. It is sufficient for operation, 27.7 and 28.1. So it's enough. We turn on the battery, external power to on. Then before starting the APU, perform the APU test, the fire test. Looks okay. And then we can start the APU. So master switch on and then start on the lower ecam here we can see the sequence flap is open and and is rising starting to rotate and ignition And the APU is almost started. Then we turn on the remaining lights on the cockpit. Here, the overhead. And the flood light. Then we go back to overhead, the APU is now available, so we turn on the APU bleed to provide air conditioning to the passengers. Uh, we check the conditioning panel, we have 100 uh, passengers today, so we turn tax to low, and the temperature is auto. Then we check the brakes, the brakes are on the pedal cell in the lower half. We check the pressure, it should be in the green range, so it looks alright. We check the lower ECAM for uh, first for all quantity, so 20 and 20, full, that's good. Then the hydraulic uh, quantity in the green range, uh, green, blue and yellow systems, all in the green range. And then uh, for oxygen pressure, we go to the doors and we can see oxygen 1850 psi that's also in the normal range and is okay so this is all checked then we go and check emergency equipment in the in the cabin so uh, we have it all here it's checked and the uh, gear pins and covers are also checked and now I'm going to perform the external walk around and my colleague will continue with the setup while my colleague is outside the plane I will continue with overhead First of all, we need to distinguish all the white lights by pressing them. Then we go to recorder, we we'll switch on the ground control for it, and then perform a test. One, two, one, two. Test is okay, we need to erase. and put it back to auto. Next, check the evacuation for a captain. It is in captain position. Um, then we will switch the ADRS to now. Then go to external lights. Switch on the now lights, uh, which means that uh, crew is inside the cockpit and working. Switch on the signs for the seat belts and no smoking. Then check the landing elevation that in, it is in auto. Check that pack flow is set to low. Check the batteries that they are more than 28. 
and showing us zero amperage, which means that battery are fully charged. Then go to engine fire test, engine number one test. We have the sound, it's okay. And engine number two test. Everything is okay. Then uh, checking that audio switching is in normal. Then we need to check the radio panel for a third occupant, it should be on. And public advisory should be in receipt. Now we go to central instrument panel, uh, check the standby instruments for indications. Uh, check the clock, that the time is correct one. And switch on the anti-skid and nose wheel steering. Now we move to the pedestal. Switch on the ACP panel. Uh, VHF1, VHF2 to receipt and intercom and cabin also for receipt. Check the weather radar, it should be off now. Then check the switching panel, they all must be in normal position. Then we need to check the status panel on the ECAM. Then check that landing elevation is in auto. Then go to thrust levers, they should be at idle. Uh, check that engine masters are off and engine mode selector is normally. Check the parking brake is on and pressure is okay. Check that gravity gear extension lever is stowed. Switch on the second audio control panel. Do the same checks as we did before and check the tickets in standby. Now we continue with FMGS, uh, check that uh, data here is correct, go to init page, put here our flight plan, so I put the code for Brussels and, and Frankfurt, uh, IRS is aligned already, set the flight number, For us it will be BA320, constant X is 10, and cruise altitude for us will be flight level 230. Okay. So we finished with a neat page. Let's go to the flight plan page. When we see our departure and destination, go to the... Uh, let's select the departure. We will, fly, we will depart from runway 07 right using the SID SPI to Juliet. It is set, now we can insert it in our flight plan. So we need to check the all points here. They are okay. And now from SPI we will fly via Airway Uniform Tango 180 to point Pesov, Papa, Echo, Sierra, Oscar, Victor. Okay, it is here. We can insert. Then from Pesov, we will use Airway Tango 180 to point Unoko. Okay is inside and now we need to choose uh, arrival to Frankfurt we estimating arrival to runway 07 right uh, using a star Unoko one mic insert then we need to check that all points are inside and uh, enter it correctly. And then goes to Radnav page, checking that uh, automatically the plane automatically set the two VORs which we need for uh, our departure. Let's go back to init page. Uh, and it's time to enter our zero, zero fuel weight and zero fuel weight uh, center of gravity. 
from our load sheet we know that zero fuel weight is uh, 52.4 and this is our CG for, for now and the block fuel block fuel is uh, 5.4 tons let's set the takeoff data we will use flaps 2 for departure uh, we we'll use 40 degrees for flex to temp and entering uh, V1, uh, 130, we rotate around 132 and V2 around 140. Alright, I'm back from the walk around and the cockpit is almost set up, which is have the glare shield left. Uh, so we put on the lights and set each side separately. So we have the barrel for today is 9908. And the maps. Alright, we set the glare shield and the altitude, the initial altitude, we'll check with the ATC, of course, but according to the chart, it should be flight level 60. Uh, we'll contact the ATC soon and get the clearance, they will tell us maybe different altitude. Uh, we'll see. We perform the oxygen mass test. It's okay. And we check the fuel quantity. Again, 5.4 almost fuel on board. 1,600 used and 1,000, yeah, so fuel is good. And then the takeoff briefing. So we'll contact the ATC for the clearance and then perform the takeoff briefing. Uh, we'll confirm the runway and the initial flight level and then continue with the brief. Brussels ground, bolt activation 3 to 0, requesting a far clearance to Frankfurt, information kilo. Bolt activation 3 to 0, Brussels ground, you are cleared to Frankfurt airport via flight plan route. Sierra Papa India 2 Juliet departure, initial climb flight level 60, QNH 9098, squad 3521. Uh, could it be a flight plan route? Uh, Sierra Papa India to Julia departure, initial flight level 60, QNH 9908 and squawk 3521. Baltic Evasion 320, thank you. Baltic 320, read that correct. Contact ground on 118.05. Contact ground on 118.05, Baltic Evasion 320, bye. Okay. okay, now we can start with the takeoff briefing. Uh, now we are at stand 217 left. We will taxi via outer 9, uh, then Zulu, then holding point uh, runway 07 right. Mm -hmm. We will do a normal takeoff. In case of some failure before we want, uh, Captain will apply full reverse and full brakes. In, in case something after we want, we will, stay, we will try to stay in the air. And then we will do uh, Sierra Papa India to Juliet departure. Mm -hmm. Finish finishing at Sierra Papa India VUR. Basically, that's all. Any questions? No questions. So we can continue. Okay, take off briefing complete. Okay, we can start with the ground and push back and then start it. <laughs> 